you might wonder how to pronounce my name because it is a little bit weird, this name. Only my mother knows how to pronounce this name, but my best imitation of my mother is Predrag Cvitanovic. Now, right. you can call me Prof or Predrag or whatever feels comfortable to you. It doesn't matter to me. This name, you might wonder where it comes from. I was born in Croatia. I'm Danish. My wife is Argentinian. Therefore, we live in the United States. I don't need to remind you if uh, Germans did not elect the clown as a chancellor, this course would be given in German and not in English. But uh, we still remember that some of the great physics was done by Germans then, and that's why this is called eigenvalues. A brief tangent, just so you know how to say these things. These people come from different countries, and there is no any logic or rhyme or reason how their names are pronounced. So there's no reason why I should ever know how to pronounce his name. I happen to know because I'm European, as they say in Germany, so or European in English. So this guy, the French person, his name is Cauchy. This German, his name is Euler. This German. He's called Riemann because it's German. Uh, this guy, his name is Fourier because he's French, Laplace, another Frenchman, pronounced Laplace. Then there is this strange name with strange letters, U, like in the ice cream of fake brands of expensive ice cream. This is called Schrödinger. And you know, there is also Gauss. And Gauss is Gauss. Thanks God, that's easy to pronounce. You might see this, you know, fancy ice cream stuff often. So in English, because not everybody knows how to do double dots, umlauts, this is uh, often written as A O is written as O E Schroedinger, and U umlaut is often written as U A. Almost always, this means that you're transliterating from German to English. And when I'm at it, why not? <laughs> you might care about Lobachevsky. That gets spelled in various ways, but it's pronounced Lobachevsky. You might care about Lyapunov. Lyapunov and so on. And of course, you should always care about the smartest man of them all, but uh, not appreciate so much today, Leibniz. Who was, you know, suppressed in Anglo-Saxon literature by a very nasty person called Newton, whose name you know how to pronounce. <laughs> 